I'm Sarah Jensen, editor of OEM Off Highway, and welcome to Design and Engineering Insights. Today, I'm talking with Eric Bretti, Director of Digital Displacement Solutions at Danfoss, um, and he'll be speaking with me today about uh, Danfoss's digital displacement technology. So thank you, Eric, for joining me today. Appreciate it. Um, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so if we could start, uh, could you provide an overview of the Dan Foss's digital displacement pump technology and kind of how it works and the benefits it offers? Sure, yeah. So uh, digital displacement uh, technology and products, they're all based on basically a rotary pump design. Uh, what's uh, different with what we do is we have uh, very, very fast electrohydraulic valves that can uh, turn on and off very quickly and control the amount of oil flowing through that radial piston pump. So the uh, nice thing about that is a twofold. It's very, very fast, so it's very responsive to command inputs. Uh, it's very efficient. Uh, there's very, very low uh, losses and uh, very good efficiency. Um, and then it's software controlled, so we can do a lot of very interesting things with the control modes, uh, with uh, uh, getting the pump to act and behave exactly how the customer wants it for an application. Can you talk about kind of the speeds and like why, what about the technology makes it so efficient and able to uh, respond so quickly? Sure. So um, the, uh, the first version of the pump that uh, we have uh, been working on and um, done one release on is a 96 cc pump. That's uh, 12 uh, cylinders, 12 pistons. Um, and it has a maximum speed of about 2,600 RPM, if I remember right. Um, and um, it, uh, it's very efficient because we have very good, um, I should say, very, very, very low losses compared to an axial piston pump, which most of us who have been in the fluid power industry are quite familiar with. Um, uh, axial piston pumps have a lot of uh, losses, a lot of friction, a lot of pumping losses and things like that. The radial piston design of the digital displacement pump has very nicely balanced forces and uh, very uh, low, um, very low flow losses, I guess I'll say. Um, and uh, those two things kind of make the pump very inherently efficient. But then the other nice thing is since we're electronically controlling how the oil goes in and out of the pistons, um, I also have very, very low standby losses. We're not pumping oil uh, back and forth um, and uh, causing uh, what I'll call extra friction and things like that in the pump uh, when you're not commanding it to do anything. Uh, in a lot of ways, the standby losses are so low, it's almost like uh, shutting off an electric motor um, and uh, you're, we're just waiting for the command to you know, come back and uh, to uh, request more flow. Uh, what sorts of applications might this pump technology be beneficial for? So in Danfoss Power Solutions, we're used to working in the off-road market, and what we've targeted in the off-road market are applications where a uh, very, very fast response or very good efficiency, uh, energy efficiency are uh, required. Um, a lot of the applications we've worked with have been things like uh, hydraulic excavators, wheel loaders, forklift trucks, uh, forestry machines we've taken a look at. Um, and uh, then we've also started to look at some other applications uh, like uh, sweepers and things like that as well. Now, the uh, applications that are really, really fast and responsive would be things like forestry, you know, where those machines are, uh, productivity is, is paramount to be able to uh, you know, recover the return on investment in a machine that expensive. Right. Um, and do the job that it does way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but also uh, machines that have a really heavy a hydraulic duty cycle, like a hydraulic excavator, are also really, really great candidates for this particular product as well, because we save a lot of energy. Uh, and I say we save energy because we're not just talking about saving fuel, although that's one way we can do it. Uh, we also work very, very well in electric uh, systems. And so we also, uh, since we have a nice efficiency advantage over competing hydraulic products, we can save a lot of battery, battery power too. Mm -hmm. So uh, we like to think that we work really, really well with uh, any uh, power train, any kind of energy source to make it last longer or uh, produce fewer emissions. Okay. And so for those electric systems that it could work in, is it just any type then of electric system? Would it be a hybrid or could it be both? Is it battery powered or just any system? 
Um, it can work with any system, honestly, but I tell you, I think the places where we bring a real benefit are in battery powered systems. You know, battery packs are quite expensive, you know, especially off-road batteries. You know, we're, we, we hear about, you know, some of the folks in automotive, you know, saying, yeah, you know, lithium ion battery packs are going to come on to, you know, whatever it is, 100 euros a kilowatt hour. Uh, but in fact, off-road uh, systems are a lot more expensive because they have to be ruggedized, they have to withstand greater temperature extremes and things like that. Mm -hmm. So in these very, very expensive battery packs, you know, anything you can do to extend their life is a big deal. And what we've found and some of the some of the testing we've done has shown that we've got probably one of the best uh, round, one of the best efficiencies from the DC power bus to fluid power uh, that uh, you can achieve right now. If you put us together, see with our Editron and inverter, inverters and motors, mm -hmm. um, we've generated some data in Scotland. Uh, on uh, some initial testing that shows we can achieve 87% efficiency from the DC power bus to fluid power uh, uh, at the uh, outlet. So we're really excited about taking that and uh, applying it to more and more electric machines in the future. Okay, well, interesting, great. And so um, I know the company has been kind of working with this technology for a while. Um, so where are you guys at in the pro development process with it? So um, we have been working uh, in earnest on productization since the beginning of 2018. Um, and so far we've launched the first version of the 96 CC pump, which is a 96 CC pump aimed at the industrial market. Maybe one of the things I didn't mention before when you're asking about applications is uh, industrial uh, markets are also in scope for the digital displacement pump because especially there, a lot of the same uh, values uh, are important. Energy efficiency is on everybody's mind, of course, and quick response can also help with system simplification of you know, some of the more complicated industrial machines, um, injection molding, water jet, uh, things like that. So we've launched a product uh, aimed at the industrial market first, and now we're working on a 96cc product that will be released later this year uh, aimed at the off-road market. Oh. Uh, and in the meantime, we're able to work with off-road customers on uh, any uh, pre-production or prototype or technology demonstration or product demonstration products that they wish. Mm -hmm. uh, we can give them a 96cc uh, single pump, or we can also give them uh, two of those singles put together into a tandem for 192 cc's of uh, total displacement. And that's good um, for quite a few uh, machines up to around, uh, we'll say, 18, maybe 20 tons uh, for now. We're also working on larger pumps, and uh, the first uh, products there we'll have some announcements for in the coming months. Okay, great. And so then will you guys work directly with an OEM or system integrator to uh, integrate the technology into a piece of equipment? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we can do it a number of ways. Uh, we've, we've been working with quite a few different OEMs uh, specifically on their machines. Um, but uh, now we're also starting to engage with integrators like a lot of uh, the very competent distrib distributors we have at Dan Plus Power Solutions and starting to have discussions with them about how we apply digital displacement pumps in their customers' machines. So uh, that's also something we'll be uh, spending a lot more time on here in 2020 and into 2021. But uh, we're absolutely open to working directly with OEMs or working with our competent distributors to make sure that we find the applications where digital displacement will really uh, get our customers excited and give a great benefit. Our digital displacement pumps, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they can bring oil into a single outlet, a single inlet, and then put it out of a single outlet. But our pumps are also able to have multiple outlets. Okay. So instead of having to have two or three pumps in a stack, uh, we can have uh, multiple outlets with different displacements, different pressures simultaneously, all in one pump. So now all of a sudden you've got a nice packaging advantage. And then you can also do some things with our pump that you can't pull off with a normal pump. And it enables some really, really interesting and energy efficient machine architectures. Okay. So, uh, you know, imagine a pump that can deliver different flows and different pressures to multiple parts of the machine. Now, all of a sudden, some of those problems you have with, you know, margin pressures and, and overhead of uh, uh, having to have high pressures and um, uh, compensator networks. Uh, you can get rid of some of those. And in those ways, you can further reduce energy uh, consumption in the machine. So we're actually very excited about the ability for us to go and do that. And we're now working with customers on applying our product in their machines in that way. 
in uh, some architectures that are revolutionary right now and in the future will be uh, even more different than what you could possibly pull off today. Okay. So a lot of future innovation coming from digital displacement. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, we look forward to hearing more about it in the coming months and years. And um, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today about the technology. Yeah, no problem. It's a pleasure to see you again, Sarah. Yeah, you too.